Hey guys, so this video is about an overview, just a general guide on the different apps and how to use them on the unit. So coming from the home page, make sure if you go into settings, ensure that you're connected to the Wi-Fi. And to do this, you're gonna make, have to make sure that your automatic connection to your CarPlay app is off. So if you go in here, through settings where you can turn that off. So from the home page, to find your app overview, you click these four little squares down here, and that should bring you to this page where you can have a look at all the different apps on the unit. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on the main ones that you should be using. So that includes the radio app, the Bluetooth app, the DSP, Autolink, Play Store, and also knows how YouTube and Netflix and stuff like that work. And also an example app and an example map program. So just to begin with the radio, as you can tell, if you press FM and you press search, so 87.7 isn't a station, but when we go, it searches for one, it'll go through the process. We have other main videos that are more specific on this, but if you just go back to 91.7, obviously you can hear the music there. So that's just quickly how to get into the radio app. If you wanna have more details on the radio app, we have other videos explaining that. Um, Bluetooth, so when your car initially connects, it'll initially connect with Bluetooth, but it'll quickly go off Bluetooth and onto Wi-Fi. So that's why obviously I've got this disconnected now because I need to use the Wi-Fi to be able to download apps. Uh, the DSP app, so we're still connected to the radio. So this is basically how to edit the and change your settings in terms of your sound. So your equalizer, for example, if I turn this up, you might be able to hear the difference, hopefully you can. So if I go from pop to rock, jazz, classic, to user, and you know, if you go to user, for example, I can make this extremely bassy if I want to. I can change like whatever I want. So that's how that all works. And your balance, for example, as well. Hard to hear on the video, but you can make it sound like it's, so right now this sounds like it's over in this corner, over here, and I can change it to in the left corner or wherever. But I'm just gonna leave it in the middle for now, just to keep it how it's normally meant to be. Your sub out, if you've got a sub connected to your car, that's all the settings for that. So you can have a play in there, but that's a DSP app. Auto Link is your Apple CarPlay, but I'm gonna stick off that because that'll try and connect and that'll disconnect me from the Wi-Fi, which will be not good. YouTube obviously is still there. You got YouTube, it just works like YouTube normally would. Obviously it's Android based, so uh, if you're used to Android, that'll be very, very helpful. But you go subscriptions or shorts, there you go. So that video popped up, you turn the volume up. The old woman. So you can see that video is working and the audio is working as well. So that's the YouTube app. And Play Store. So we're connected to the internet and I've logged into my Google account, my work Google account. And as an example, we previously just installed the real estate .com.au app, this one, which as you can see, just as an example, you can install anything on the Play Store, which is pretty good. So this should just boot up. There we go. Cool. So if we just search for Balcata, for example, there you go. So there's a three by two. Uh, you can have a, have a scroll on your car unit. So we get out of the Play Store. Obviously you've got Spotify. If you're using Apple CarPlay and that kind of thing, you don't really need to bother with the actual app on Android, but if you don't want to use Apple CarPlay, that's where you access your Spotify. Uh, and then memory maps. So this is just what we're using as an example. Obviously a lot of our customers like to use HEMA maps, which is quite useful. So if I go to HEMA, I won't install it on this because it's $100, but if you did want to install HEMA maps, you just go HEMA, scroll down, and obviously a lot of you guys use this. And with the built-in Jeep, it's a bit of a no-brainer if you want to go on a big trip. So you can download those apps onto the unit itself and then with the built-in Jeep in the Vahedius M series units, it'll be able to use those offline maps in conjunction with that to work. And so that is an overview of all the apps.